This is my Flashforge Finder. There are many others like it, but this one is mine. In just a few minutes it's about to clock 5000 hours of printing. That is a lot and I'm very happy with it. During those 5000 hours it has performed close to flawlessly and with very little maintenance, beside the occasional leveling of the bed. The Flashforge Finder is a simple printer on the cheaper side, but not the cheapest. It comes fully assembled and has a small printing space of only 14 cubic centimeters. It lacks heated bed, so you are restricted to filaments such as PLA and PTG. On the other hand, the printer is easy to operate and produce great prints. The printer has a built-in filament holder in the back, but since I'm using PLA Plus from eSun for most of my prints, and those rolls are bigger than the original Flashforge ones, I have my filament roll on a small tripod next to the printer. This machine has been awesome and a key to make my remote controlled tanks. I simply couldn't do it without it. So while the winter is in full swing outside, let's take a look at what we have accomplished, my printer and I. Ah, the BT7. 1.8 scale and the first tank I made using the 3D printer. I experimented a lot with the tracks on this one. The Amex 13, also 1.8 scale. The gun is printed in several pieces and glued together. It was a joy making all the hatches and the details in CAD. My Styr RSO, my first 1.6 scale model. A robust chassis with 3D printed parts that has worked very well. My second 1.6 scale model is the Swedish M39. All the details are 3D printed and the track system seems very robust. The Scimitar is my latest finished model, a bit on the heavy side for my 12V drill motors, but works excellent. A lot of details 3D printed here, including the usual drive sprockets, road wheels and tracks. So is that it? Wrong. This is my current project, a Swedish 105, a heavily modified Centurion. In 1.6 scale this is a beast. The track pads are huge and 15 mm thick. Both tracks are fully printed and they weigh 3 kilos each. And with the gun in place it becomes even bigger. Of course, this is not all the Flashforge Finder has been printing during the last years. There are tons of spare parts on the shelves and even more printed parts for future models or parts for a certain purpose. Like servo holders and bearing mounts and more bearing mounts and drive sprockets for a future T55 and tracks for said D55, and tracks for the Centurion. It took 600 hours to print them. And a tower of road wheels for a 1.6 scale BT7, and an even higher tower, and more tracks to a T55, the early version, and RSU spare parts, and more BT7 parts, and parts for testing, and parts for things that were, and for things that never was, and for things that will be, someday. My point is that all of this would not be possible to make by hand or without advanced tools. But with a cheap, simple 3D printer, endless opportunities awaits. Hopefully, I will get to make another video of this magnificent printer. Perhaps at 10,000 hours. Thanks a lot, little gizmo.